Hey guys, um, this video is about uh, sort, of, sort, sort of a review, okay? Why hyper dispensationalism is heresy. Um, you know, every once in a while, I get a comment from like an old video that I made. You know, where somebody gets mad uh, because, you know, I, I called out somebody like Robert Breaker or something. You know, Robert Breaker is an example of a hyper-dispensationalist. Um, and, you know, something that's, that, that's also uh, been on my mind today. Uh, you know, it, it, it is you know, about the false doctrine of, of uh, hyper-dispensationalism, where they think that in certain time periods, uh, they think in certain time periods, uh, people were saved by works. And that's just, <laughs> that's just a bunch of garbage. Okay, and I, I've even mentioned it to a couple people today about, you know, you know, imagine you're reading the Old Testament and you're hearing God tell people, you know, God having to tell people, you know, don't murder, don't prostitute your daughter, you know, you know, uh, d don't, don't have sex with animals, you know, don't, don't, you know, <laughs> like all, all this stuff. You're like, why in the world is, does, does he need to like tell, tell people this, you know? Um, And, and and then you know or, or even you know don't 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 go worship other gods and then and then you keep reading the old testament and you know there's all these instances where israel's like worshiping other gods um false gods of course um but you know like but p people read that and they conclude oh i guess they were saved by works i mean god told them you know not, not to do all these things he, but you know i, I guess i didn't do i mean did you even read the Old Testament, you know, like they're they're failing like almost all the time, <laughs> you know. Um, I mean, how many times does God have to like send them a prophet to, uh, you know, to warn them about something and and, and you know show them their errors and and their sins? It's like. I don't know how anybody can read the Bible and think that people in the Old Testament got saved by works. I mean, wh wh what about Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? You know, they, they couldn't make animal sacrifices. You know, there was no temple. They, they were stuck in Babylon. Okay? And, you know, the... The curse of the law had to do with, you know, if you were, uh, you know, if you offended at one point, you're guilty of all, and, you know, like it says in, in James 2.10. Um, but, you know, if you want to be justified by the law, you'd have to keep the entire law. And that includes, uh, you know, the ceremonial stuff, the moral stuff, the, you know, the, the civic stuff, everything. Okay. Um, God didn't separate those things and said, okay, you could, you know, do some of it, maybe, and you'll be justified by the No. Okay. And also, you know, we know clearly, uh, as it is ex ex explained in First Timothy, that the law was not made for a righteous man. Okay. Um, and, you know, that that quote, that famous quote of all our righteousness are as filthy rags, that's an old testament quote. Okay. You think you think people got saved by trusting in a filthy rag in the old testament? Like what the, what are you talking about? Okay. Um no, they got people in the old testament got saved. Uh you know by believing that someday a Messiah would come and, and redeem them, okay? Because, um, like, you know, 
King David, okay, he had his sins. It's talked about in the Bible, some of his sins, right? Uh, he got Uriah killed over his jealousy over Bathsheba, and, you know, he committed adultery with Bathsheba. And, you know, you can read in Deuteronomy, uh, even before Israel had kings, uh, God told them, when you have kings, I want them to have a copy of my law. Okay. And so, yeah, David had a copy of the law. And in the law, it talks about not, not multiplying wives and, you know, obviously, you know, not committing murder. Uh, so, no, David was not justified by his own works. Okay. And he knew that. Um, you know, the... The people in Nineveh, when Jonah preached to them, it said that they believed God. Okay. They didn't receive salvation because the town fasted. Okay. They received salvation because they believed God when they heard the, the preaching of Jonah. Um, you know, Abraham in Genesis, you know, he believed God and it was accounted unto him for righteousness. Okay. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Okay. And people try to, you know, the, the, the hyper dispensationists try to teach you that's a different grace. I mean, <laughs> and they try to teach you that, you know, you know, when you try to show something out of like Romans chapter four, they try to say, oh, that's a different kind of righteousness. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Romans chapter four totally destroys hyper dispensationalism. Okay. And how about the fact that the the most infamous verse in the entire Bible is John three sixteen, and that's technically an Old Testament verse because, uh, as it says in Hebrews, that you know, uh, you for for a New Testament, you know, you need the death of the testator. Okay, so for the New Testament to to begin, you you needed Jesus Christ to be crucified. And, uh, you know, he was speaking to Nicodemus before his crucifixion. And he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And he told that to Nicodemus in the Old Testament. Okay. You know, when he said that, when Jesus said that he's the, the way, the truth, and the life, and that, that no man comes unto the Father but by him, that, he said that in the Old Testament. Okay, be, before the cross, before his crucifixion. Um, and, and, and look, you know, the Bible also makes it clear that Jesus Christ died for everybody. I know the Calvinists are stubborn about that, but Jesus Christ died for everybody. And that includes everybody in the Old Testament. And, and, and you know, and that also includes everybody uh, after the church gets raptured. Okay. Because Jesus Christ tasted death from every man. You know, he died for everybody. He's a propitiation for uh, not our sins only, but the sins of the whole world, you know, from uh, Adam forward. <laughs> okay. Um, and, you know, Abraham basically pimped out his wife out of fear of getting killed while he was down in Egypt. Okay, you read about that in Genesis. And you're telling me that, that him basically being willing to pimp out his wife to, I think it was Abimelech, you know, that, uh, that, that, that that's just some, some great works that's, that's, uh, you know, supposedly at least on par with with Jesus Christ dying on the cross for this, like, and shedding his blood. No, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You know, M Moses. Uh, early on in the book of Exodus, we read about how Moses killed a guy. Okay. Uh, and you know. And the, 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 
the the first time, uh, you know, we read about God interacting with Moses. Um, you know, Moses starts making excuses about you know why he he can't do what God wants him to do. Okay, and you're you're telling me Moses was saved by by his works. <laughs> I mean, what in the world? He he couldn't even physically get into the promised land. And you're telling me he was saved by his own works? <laughs> no, salvation's always been by faith, okay? <laughs> oh, man. You know, Solomon, I mean... Guy was a serious whoremonger. He even ended up, you know, worshiping other gods for a while, and uh, you know, but God used him to write part of the Bible. That that's how we know he's a believer, okay? Because <laughs> God's not going to use an unbeliever to write scripture. Um, I, I I think that's always really funny how, you know, some people try to debate whether Solomon was saved. I mean. <laughs> The reason they do that is because their their work salvation is that's why. Um, look, P Peter denied Jesus. Okay, mm -hmm. three times Peter sticks his foot in his mouth a lot when you read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Okay, uh, but he was saved. He's a believer. But you can't say he was saved by works, okay? And, you know, P Peter believed on Christ, uh, you know, even before Christ got crucified. So Peter got saved in the Old Testament time period by faith, okay? Um, I mean, like, <laughs> it's... <laughs> All those people that, like you know, that Jesus ministered to where it said, where he told them like, you know, thy faith hath made thee whole or, or, you know, the narrator, which is, which is God, you know, uh, tells you that, you know, these group of people believe, but they were like afraid of the Jews. So, so basically, you know, they didn't say anything, but, but we know they believe because narrator told us and, and the, you know, the narrator is always right because he's God. Okay. And, uh, you know, when you hear about uh, Zacchaeus and, and, you know, all, all these people, okay? Nicodemus, uh, you know, a bunch of people <laughs> in, in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Uh, you know, a, a lot of them were getting saved before, before the crucifixion of Christ. Okay. And what about, what about Nicodemus? Okay, let's go back to Nicodemus because G Jesus rebuked them for being, uh, uh, I forgot the term to use, but ba basically like a, like an elder of of Israel or you know, like a master of Israel. I think he might have used the word master, you know, kind of sarcastically. I think it was the word master. I have to look back and check that. But, you know, but he basically told Nicodemus, Hey, you, you're 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 supposedly this great teacher, and you can't even tell people how to be saved, you know, how how to have eternal life, you know, and you're you're this supposedly this great teacher of Israel, you know, in Israel. So, look, Nicodemus did not get saved by works. It's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> then. Tell me Samson got saved by his works? <laughs> you tell me Lot got saved by his works? <laughs> the Bible calls him just Lot. In uh I forgot if it was first Peter, second Peter, but I'm leaning towards second Peter. But you I mean you can check that out, you know, even on something like Bible Gateway or the Blue Letter Bible app. Type in just Lot and read that, you know, that passage in context. Um, and look, he wasn't the only one that escaped Sodom. Okay. Uh, 
you know, he got out with his daughters. So, it, it, you know, in, the, in that passage in, in, in Peter, it can't be talking about, you know, as in just him. Okay. Like it was just him. No, it's saying just as in he was justified. Okay. Because he was, you know, he was, because it, because it wasn't by his works. Okay. Nobody ever got saved by their own works. It's ridiculous. Um, I mean, just like we, <laughs> it, 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 even before Genesis, uh, was it 19? So, you know, the, 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 the chapter of Sodom and Gomorrah getting destroyed, even before, like, even before we read that. You know, we read about, you know, Abraham having to rescue Lot and stuff, and, and Lot's kind of always sort of, like, get in trouble. <laughs> like, you're telling me he was saved by his own works, you know. And what's interesting is that, you know, the the people who come out and just are hardcore work salvationists and just come out and say it, you know, they claim Lot wasn't saved, right? Because, but the hyper-dispensationalists, like, I, I think all of them claim Lot was saved. You know, and they're right about that, but somehow they think he was saved by works. I mean, what in the world? <laughs> I mean, you think Lot's up in heaven and he's like, Oh, hi, Jesus, check out my works. You know, the sodomites banged on my door, wanted to rape some angels. But I'm like, hey, just, just get my daughters instead. I mean, that, that's, look, check out my filthy rag. You know, like, what in the world? No, he wasn't saved by works. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Anyways, man, I, 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 I'm siding off, okay? Uh, read Romans chapter four. Read Romans chapter five. Uh, you know, read Galatians chapter three, chapter four. <laughs> Man. <laughs>